Hey guys, it's Eric with another episode of Enchanted Minds. Today we're going over the top 10 companions for the tanking classes. Uh, so we'll get right into it, guys. Starting with number 10. And number 10 is actually a two way tie. That's two companions do exactly the same thing. Uh, you can see here the cave bear giving you 400 hit points at green. We're a little more interested in the epic version. 1200 hit points there with the cave bear. Also doing the same exact thing is the Rimfire Golem. And that's here at uh, purple as well. 1,200 hit points. You can see about 100,000 close to the same price there. Both doing the same thing. 1,200 hit points coming in at number 10 for your tanking classes. Moving on to number 9, guys. We have the Ice Sprite. And, and really, I had uh, more in mind the Paladin with this Ice Sprite. Um, being able to basically spam their dailies, spam divine judgment, very nice. Um, could be us useful for the guardian fighter as well, as they have some very neat dailies also. So Ice Sprite coming in for the tanking class at number 9. Moving right along guys, coming in at number 8 is the Black Ice Prospector. So the Black Eyes Prospector, uh, kind of, kind of odd, kind of an uncommon choice, I would say. Um, you can see Summon Companion plus 25% additional threat, and you plus 5% damage resistance versus AOE attack. So this, guys, is very, very nice for that second ability there. The damage resistance versus AOE attacks. And that's why, guys, he's coming in at number 8. Moving right along, one of my personal favorites, the Moonbow Priestess. Very, very useful. I think you can only buy her rare. Right now, only 70,000. Such a steal, guys. The Priestess of Sahanin Moonbow. So you can see she's giving you Deflect, which is nice. Um, as you get higher gear score, you're going to start wanting to build your Deflect rather than your Defense because you'll probably be capping out your damage resistance at a pretty low gear score. So more importantly, guys, than the Deflect is what she does. So she is a viable option as a Summon Companion and the reason is you can see this moonbeam guys this is one of the best companion abilities in the game and it really it makes her viable for any class you can see that she reduces critical chance for enemies within 20 feet by one percent for a companion level so at blue quality at level 30 you guys are looking at 15% reduced critical chance on the mobs. And more importantly, guys, she increases the critical chance for allies within 20 feet by 0.5% per companion level for 6 seconds. So guys, this is a huge buff for all allies around this Priestess. This is giving everybody a 15% critical chance increase. Very, very massive buff, especially if multiple players are running it in the same group. Guys, one of my favorites, if not my favorite companion here. Coming in at number 7, the Priestess of Sahanin Moonbow. 
Moving right along, guys. Coming in at number six, we've got the Pseudo Dragon. And you can see here, guys, active bonus, 20% chance to restore some stamina when attacking. So this is going to allow you to recover uh, that stamina that is oh so precious in, in big boss fights, guys. So not bad, not bad at all. Coming in at number six is the Sudo Dragon. And that brings us to number five. And I know some of you tanks out there probably want to see this guy a little higher. Um, however, it's it's uh, he, he's more catered towards uh, allowing the tank to deal some damage rather than uh, reducing damage. But a very, very nice companion here, guys, coming in uh, at number five. So the Blacksmith, guys, active bonus on damage taken, 15% chance to reflect, 10% of damage taken. If the same target is hit four times, it will reflect three times the damage taken. Guys, very, very nice. If you're a tank, if you're in a big fight, big boss fight, this blacksmith, extremely, extremely valuable coming in at number five. And number four here, guys, is actually the cheapest one on the list to buy. You can see the Phase Spider, only 2,000 Astral Diamonds right now in the Trade House. Active bonus, reduce the damage effect of combat advantage against you by 10%. So this is awesome and very cheap. Coming in at number four, the Phase Spider. Coming in at number three, guys, another one of my personal favorites, uh, also one that you can use as an active companion, the Energon. Heading the top three here, number three. You can see the active bonus increase your max HP by 5%. This is a must have if you're a tank. Uh, also, he's viable as an active companion because of his ability here, guys, gathering energy. Basically going to allow you to boost your action point gain substantially. Very nice companion to run, uh, especially lower level when your AP gains not all that. So um, I would say no matter what, you want to have this guy in your active bonus as one of your five and also awesome to rock as a summon companion. So guys, coming in uh, to the top two here, coming down to the, uh, the finale. So the second from the top, the, 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 the runner up guys is the frozen Galeb Durr. And the frozen Galeb Durr is huge. You can see this active bonus increased damage resistance up to 10% based on the percentage of damage you have taken. So this is very, very nice. Coming in at number two for your tanking companions, which brings us to number one, guys. Number one is the Rust Monster. So the Rust Monster, you can see quite expensive here at epic quality. On damage taken, 25% chance to inflict a 5% damage debuff on attacker. Stacks up to three times. Guys, this is awesome. It's, it's allowing you to circumvent the damage resistance cap because it's simply reducing the outgoing damage of the enemy. And you can see that he's also viable as a summoned companion option. He has an incredible uh, debuff here. Hyper Corrosion, 
The rusting caused by corrosive touch becomes rapid, spreading to the target's armor. Foes hit by corrosive touch also take 5% more damage. So that's a buff uh, against the mob. 5% damage for everybody. And you can see here corrosive touch. Grab out at the target uh, and this attack damage and reduces the damage done by the target by 8%. Absolutely massive. So it's an 8% debuff on the mob's damage towards you and another 8% increase for the party's damage towards the monster, making a total of 13% more damage, 8% here, and then another 15% from his active bonus, guys. The Rust Monster coming in at number one for your tanking companions. And guys, he is expensive, he is expensive. Um, so if you're a new tank, new to the game, you can also buy him green, guys. You can see 9,000, much cheaper, um, but it is going to be cheaper to get him uh, at purple because you cannot buy him green, so, or excuse me, blue. So get a green one for now, save up your astral diamonds, buy a purple one, and you will be off to the races, guys. It's one of the best tanks. So if you have uh, any questions or if you feel like we left out a really good tanking companion, please comment down below. The game's massive, guys. We don't know everything, um, so if you have any suggestions, please comment down below. Or if you need help in-game, comment down below. Outside of that, guys, hit the like button, subscribe if you have not subscribed. And as always, may the drops be ever in your favor. Eric out.